Alright, if you want to know exactly how options work and how to trade them, then stay tuned for today's video. Let's jump into it. So options trading may seem overwhelming at first, but it's easy to understand if you know a few key points. Investor portfolios are usually constructed with several asset classes. These may be stocks, bonds, ETFs, and even mutual funds. Options are another asset class, and when used correctly, they offer many advantages that trading stocks and ETFs alone cannot. So what are options? Options are contracts that give the bearer the right, but not the obligation, to either buy or sell an amount of some underlying asset at a predetermined price. Options can be purchased like most other asset classes with brokerage investment accounts. Options are so powerful because they can enhance an individual's portfolio. They do this through added income, protection, and even leverage. Depending on the situation, there is usually an option scenario appropriate for an investor's goal. A popular example would be using options as an effective hedge against a declining stock market to limit downside losses. If you want to know exactly how to use this and more strategies, consider subscribing as we are planning to make a video about this very soon. But options can also be used to generate recurring income. Additionally, they are often used for speculative purposes, such as wagering on the direction of a stock. But remember, there is no free lunch with stocks and bonds. Options are no different. Options trading involves certain risks that the investor must be aware of before making a trade. Only if you have the right strategy, you'll be successful. So definitely make sure you are subscribed to don't miss our future video about the best option trading strategies. Options as derivatives. Options belong to the larger group of securities known as derivatives. A derivative's price is dependent on or derived from the price of something else. Options are derivatives of financial securities, their value depends on the price of some other asset. Examples of derivatives include calls, puts, futures, forwards, swaps, and mortgage-backed securities, among others. Call and put options. Options are a type of derivative security. An option is a derivative because its price is intrinsically linked to the price of something else. If you buy an options contract, it grants you the right, but not the obligation to buy or sell an underlying asset at a set price on or before a certain date. A call option gives the holder the right to buy a stock, and a put option gives the holder the right to sell a stock. Think of a call option as a down payment for a future purchase. Buying and selling calls puts. So there are four things you can do with options. Buy and sell calls or buy and sell puts. With stocks it's like this. Buying stock gives you a long position. Buying a call option gives you a potential long position in the underlying stock. Short selling a stock gives you a short position. Selling a naked or uncovered call gives you a potential short position in the underlying stock. With options it's pretty much the same. Buying a put option gives you a potential short position in the underlying stock. Selling a naked or unmarried put gives you a potential long position in the underlying stock. Keeping these four scenarios straight is crucial. Alright, those were the absolute basics of options. But, as mentioned above, if you really want to start investing in options, you need to have some strategies. Therefore, we are currently working hard to make another video with the best option trading strategies. So please make sure to subscribe and like the video to support us with what we are doing. Thank you very much.